the spirit guides came in really quickly, Kelly, and started showing me her brain and her central nervous system, like instantly to show me what appears to me to look similar to when you and I are doing medical intuitive readings and we see things like multiple sclerosis. Mm. When we see that the central nervous system actually is attacked, isn't functioning to its fullest capacity in some way because of a real a real cause. Mm-hmm. Not just that she's got an anxiety issue or that she's creating it or other people are creating it for her, but that there's also a source here within the body on, on some level where she's dealing with some type of uh, imbalance and disease. Okay, I was going to say underlying. Yeah. So I'm thinking, holy crumb. So this is... As you said, this is Mm multi-layered. And the guide said to me, okay. And I'm thinking, well, wait a minute. Did she start the anxiety in her life with the people and the situations? Or did it start that she was born with this disease? What comes first? And the guide said to me, oh, the people... And the way that she's raised and the lack of emotional intelligence to resolve the issues with anxiety. And that's fair. If we don't have high enough emotional intelligence, then life is just going to present us with anxiety. And if we don't have the tools to resolve it, then the anxiety really doesn't ever go away because we have so few tools to deal with it Mm -hmm. that that's... I liken it always to saying that if I'm going to be... um, a carpenter, or if I'm going to have to build a house and I've only got a nail and a hammer, and obviously I'm going to have to do certain things to build this house, but if I only have those two tools, then I'm going to have a lot of anxiety when I have to saw something. Mm -hmm. You know, it's interesting. I have a particular client that I see every now and then over the years, and she has very low emotional intelligence, if if any at all. And she will say to me, I'm so sick of hearing that people have anxiety and depression. Mm-hmm. And she's a professional. She has a staff of people. And she says, I'm so sick of hearing this. It's such an excuse. Everyone says they're anxious or depressed if they don't want to do something. And I thought, wow, what an ignorant statement. Because, you know, she was going, well, some of us are just angry. Some people are just angry all the time. And I'm thinking... I can't even get through enough to her to say the anger is a form of anxiety. It's an expression of. So when you're talking about having no toolkit to express yourself healthily or how to access resources for different tools, then you're going to be paralyzed in different ways. And anger is just one of them. And anxiety and depression, whether they're separate or together, are a different expression and very valid. Yeah. Yeah. 